Tonight we have before us one individual, and we will. Okay, we will hold one moment. show we do not have the time visible but it has been provided to the speaker and uh, Ms. Battles I'm relying upon you since I cannot see that clock when we get to the 30 second mark just give a hand raise. Yes, thank you. Mr. Barone are you ready? Yes thank you. You, you may begin. Greetings Damon Barone, Amy Vice, your parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. Let me start off by asking why all of the communication outlets which, which the district doggedly reached out to the community to notify us about bond elections are not and was not being used to inform the public about tonight's special call school board meeting, tomorrow's regular school board meeting, or any past school board meeting or board committee meetings which district business is being discussed and voted on by the board. Unlike the push for the bond, we have not received any mass phone call outs, no text messages, no U.S. postage mail outs, no emails, papers were not sent home with the students to give to their parents. No announcements were being made over the PA system during games. No Coach Chambers YouTube videos were being shared, and no students or staff members passing out board meeting notifications to patrons at district athletic or extracurricular events. How is it possible for the school board to canvass the alien bias the election results tonight during this special meeting and the results have not yet been certified by Harris County? In addition, myself and another candidate asked for a recount of the votes and no one has responded to our email request. Furthermore, no one from A. Levi S. D. School Board has responded to several requests from community members such as Israel Perez, Havana Nguyen, Adrian Garcia, and possibly others regarding current candidates and previous board members' residency here in Italy. In September of 2014, members of this current board, specifically Ann Williams and Rick Moreno, Mr. Moreno served as the board president at the time, and the district's legal counsel, attorney John Eric Nichols, was the attorney then and currently is the district's attorney, used taxpayer dollars to have a previous board member removed from the board due to alleged residency issues. The Texas Secretary of State has stated that the school board has jurisdiction over the current residency issues. So my question is, when will the school board enforce its own AB5SD board policy, BBB, BBA legal? As if all these actions were not questionable enough, page 25 of the Harris County Election Day polling location list shows that a school board candidate, current school board candidate's residential address in Ailey was listed as a Harris was listed by Harris County as a polling location for this school board election. My concerns are all on today's my concerns are all on today's agenda, so I would like all of my concerns responded to publicly by the board during tonight's meeting. Thank you. Game number one, Amy Bias, the parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. Thank you, Mr. Moran, for your presentation. At this time, board, keeping with the agenda, item number three is to consider approval of, of order, canvassing returns, and declaring results of the bond election. Mr. Woods, 